It's a big night, a big opportunity for Southern Miss. Five days removed from their first win in over two months. The Golden Eagles grabbed the primetime spotlight in a Thursday meeting with Louisiana. Let's get right into it. USM has won the last 10 meetings against the Cajuns. Frank Gore Jr. continued his hot streak. The superstar got things started with an 18-yard touchdown from Billy Wiles. That tied things up at 7 each, but later on here, we saw the true freshman, Ethan Crawford. He got some more snaps at QB. Later on here, he hands things off to the fellow freshman, Kenyon Clay. He bounces it outside. A 28-yard score, his first of the year, and it's 14-7. USM's got the lead, but trouble brewing here on the ensuing kickoff. For Louisiana, Zylan Perry going to go ahead and just return this 95 yards to the house for the Raging Cajuns. They're fired up. And we're all tied at 14 apiece. But later on before the half, Louisiana's looking for that lead late. They're down inside the one yard line. Seconds on the clock, fourth and goal. And they're stuffed by the nasty bunch defense. USM gets the stand. And that's how the first half comes to a close. But Louisiana, later on in the fourth quarter, they lead it 28-21. Ethan Crawford shines, looks out of the pocket, and he finds Jacarius Caston wide open. And this one's tied, and to overtime we go. Golden Eagles, Southern Miss at the three-yard line here. Here's how we set it up. Frank Gore, Frank the Tank, punches it in, and the Golden Eagles down the Cajuns, 34-31 the final. We got Taylor Curet live in Lafayette for more. All right, we're here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Coach Will Hall joined with us after a big win for the Golden Eagles, 34-31 in overtime. Coach, describe this victory for your guys. Just a back and forth game. You guys stay in it and come away with a big win. Yeah, I've been blessed to be a part of a lot of championship teams in my life as a player and a coach. I don't know if I've ever been prouder of a group of young men than this one. With everything we went through this year, some we could control, some we couldn't, but we never stopped growing. I think, uh, I think we could be, you know, in a lot of ways an inspiration to a lot of people because we kept believing, we kept growing when everybody had written us off. Two big wins in a row. We've played really well for three weeks in a row. And, uh, you know, we got two more games to finish out this year, and we're excited about it. You talk about that belief because on the sideline, you saw tonight when Louisiana scored, you, your guys did not blink an eye. I saw guys like Hayes Maples firing up the, the sideline. Yep. That leadership has really stepped up later in the year here. It has. Our staff's done a great job, and our players have done a great job. You know, we're young, man. We've only got 12 seniors, but those 12 seniors do everything they can to lead, even though it's a small group. And our young guys are growing, and you can see it. Guys like Ethan Crawford, uh, you know, other young guys like Justin Reed, MJ Daniels. Young guys are making plays that they couldn't make early in the year because they just wasn't quite ready. And, uh, you know, man, I just uh, – we just keep battling. We've got a bright future here at Southern Miss. We're doing it the right way. We're building it the right way. And tonight was a great step in the right direction. All right, Coach, they're wrapping me back at the station. We'll send it back to Hattiesburg, guys. Big win for top, Southern Miss. Baby. All right, Taylor, thanks so much. Big win for Southern Miss, 34-31, the final.